Hello, I'm excited to share with you some journal entry practices that are going to help you achieve your goals. I've been using this for probably about six months now, and I have sound, found a huge difference in the way that I'm achieving my goals. So this particular practice is going to involve a morning journaling that takes about 10 minutes and an evening journaling that takes about 10 minutes. I was in a bookstore and I saw a 100 day journal there, but it just didn't quite meet my needs. So I've played around with it and refined it and just super excited to share with you the method that I use. Some of the things that I add to my journal may not resonate with you and you can absolutely switch it up and add whatever entries are going to help you achieve your goals. So the first thing you wanna do is get a journal. Um, I have these pretty covers. They don't have to be, you know, super nice, but I'm carrying around with me for three months, so I like it to, to be something I want to have with me. The big thing is you want it to be blank and lined, and I like the nine inch by seven inch because it gives me enough writing space. So what you're going to do is you begin with identifying three goals that you want to achieve over a hundred days. A hundred days is a really nice amount of time because it's enough time you can make your goal meaningful and it also is a short enough time that you feel compelled to take action every day. So in the morning, you're going to write down three things that you're grateful for, your mantra for the day, and then you'll write down in 100 days, these fabulous things will have happened and you list the three things. At the very top of your journal, you say day one. Now, when you get to day two, you'll write day two, and then in 90, 98 days, these, well, I guess it's 99 for the first day, um, but it, it continues to change. So second day, day two, in 98 days, these things will have happened, and then day three in 97 days. So you have a countdown going throughout your journaling. Make those goals big and meaningful, something that you can measure, and then directly underneath that, you're going to write, today I will make progress on these micro goals. So those are gonna be smaller goals that are going to roll up to the bigger goals. It may be things like, you know, um, so I'll give you an example. One of my goals is to uh, book $30,000 in the first 100 days for this month to have $30,000 worth of signed contracts. So one of my, um, my micro goals might be to create a one pager on one of my offerings so that I have something that I can deliver. Uh, then, but then directly under your micro goals, you're going to have baby steps. So today I'll take these baby steps to make my dreams come true. I may not complete even my micro goal that day. But if my micro goal is to create a one pager, then maybe my baby step is to find a template that I like or to journal about, write down what content I want to be included on that one pager. The idea is you continue to break those goals down so that they become manageable. So you're never gonna change your three main goals. Um, that you are going to achieve in 100 days. And then your micro goals will change. Sometimes they'll stay the same for a week or two. Sometimes they'll change. Um, and your baby steps should change every day because there'll be small things that you can do to move you towards your, your big dream or your goals. The other thing I like to include on my sheet is I'll write morning at the top of the morning sheet, evening on top of the evening sheet. And I also like to include the date. Uh, you can include whatever you like, whatever makes sense for you. If you'd like to see a picture of my blank journal, just put a comment here on the YouTube channel or shoot me an email at carla at theprofessionalwomansmentor.com and I'll be happy to send you the screenshots of how I uh, set up my journal. So that's the morning entry. Tune in for the next video to learn about the, the different categories that I use when I'm journaling in the evening. See you there.